Looking for a team just like mine? Take my word for it. Don't buy packs. Buy coins instead. Head on over to MrMuckCoin.com where you can not only purchase coins, but you can get players and training and much more. Use code GS30 for 30% off. What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy just welcome back to another Madden 20 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. So today, we wanted to go on ahead and have a, a nice discussion. I'm really enjoying doing these. Hopefully, you guys sitting back, relaxing, listening, and joining the discussion in the comment section because it's it's been, you know, again, it's it's by far the tail end of Madden. I know I was going to have a gameplay today, but just woke up uh, too late. But we will, for sure, you know, we're going to have ourselves. Oh, my weekly my rewards where I went 1-0. and oh. Great. I, was, I just fell asleep. I was going to stream later on that night. On, and binge a ton of weekend league games and just fell asleep and did not, uh, unfortunately, um, wake up. So I missed out on that. But anyways, man, um, so, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are joining the discussion. First and foremost, man, tomorrow's gameplay, I want you guys to leave in the comment section what I should do every time my opponent scores. For example, let's say someone types in the comment section, this is what we go with, AGS... Every time your opponent scores a touchdown, it's got to be a touchdown. You cut me some slack here. Um, I would like everyone in the house, the dogs, the cake mixer, the lamps, everyone to throw ice at you nonstop for 20 seconds. And, you know, that's not, if that's what we pick. That's something we'll do. You know, if someone said, you know what, just listen, for every score you give up, you need one drop of hot sauce in your left eyeball. You know, this is something. So type in the comment section for for tomorrow's gameplay. Every time I now, obviously, I'm gonna go all out and try my darndest not to allow my opponent to score. But every single touchdown given up, you know, there will be a consequence for it. And if I do give up any touchdowns at the end of the video, those consequences will be met, whichever one we pick. So leave in the comment section, and it's gonna be. Um, hashtag TD challenge. So let's say you want to leave a comment on um, the discussion that we're talking about. And then, you know, because we're going to talk about uh, abilities. What do you guys think about abilities? There's a love and hatred for it. And we're going to discuss it. And you can say, GS, abilities are awful. I haven't played this game since October. You get them out of it. Then, you know, hashtag TD challenge. Hey, I want you to sniff a line. After every touchdown, whatever it is you want it to be, and we'll randomly pick something to do. Um, yeah, so abilities were introduced for the first time in Ultimate Team this year, and it, it's a love hate relationship for it. Now, my personal humble opinion, I feel abilities do have a place in Madden, it can, it can be fun, except they're just way too overpowered. There has to be a certain balance. Do I think? They should get rid of them completely. I mean, if they did, I wouldn't complain about it, right? It's it's kind of like, for me, double jumping in Call of Duty when it came out and Black Ops 2 wasn't introduced or whenever it came out. Like, it, it was cool, but it wasn't my thing, right? Uh, like, if they did without it, you know, I could have, you know, I wasn't going to miss it. But let me tell you, so many campers up in buildings where I was able to double jump right through the back window and clap them and it was satisfying, you know? So it was a love-hate relationship. I didn't like someone raw, wall running and killing me, but I loved being able to just straight jump through a window and not have to go through eight floors to be able to, you know, get bet someone back. So, um, you know, I feel like the abilities, there is a love-hate relationship. I feel like they have their place. I just feel like they're too overpowered. Um, I think they need to be restructured. I think... Something as powerful as like spins. All of these abilities are really, 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 really strong. You know, you got Bruiser, you got Evasive, you got Human Joystick, you got all these things. And like, let's say Evasive, for example, right? It gives you ridiculous speed and momentum to Jukes and Spins. So let's say instead of you having an ability to do this, let's say next year, there's only X factors. You can only pick one. Like, I'm fine with that. Let's say my X factor is spin cycle, right? If I get three 10-yard runs, I'm then allowed spin cycle for whenever I get it that uh, 
for two drives or, or something like something similar like that. And then I feel like it's okay. You have to work for it. You have to earn it. Not starting with these wild abilities. I feel like if you had to work for it and earn it, then it, 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 there's a balance for it. To start off, I, I don't know how many of you guys pass the ball, but these passing, like these catching um, abilities are severely OP. And not, I don't think too many people really talk about it due to the fact of how OP the run is, right? Because the running is, there's minimal room for error with running. You're not really jeopardizing your offense with running the ball all day. We're passing. You can get sacked. You can lose massive yardage. You can fumble on a sack. You can throw an interception. A lot of things can go wrong when you pass the ball. We're running the ball. Not too many things can go wrong. But for those of you that do pass, you got to agree that Streak Specialist, Slotomatic, Matchup Nightmare, all these abilities are so wild and so strong. It's it's crazy. You put post flag elite on someone and I can throw a corner out and I can get decimated. Full blown speed coming down. Night train lane cracks me. I'm going to hold on to it every single time. Slotomatic, I feel, is something that's not talked about enough. And if you guys have been paying attention to my content, you guys know that this is the one I run all the time. And to me, it's OP. You put Playmaker on it, you can turn a drag into a streak, and it turns into streak specialist. You can turn a drag into a zig, into an in, into an out. You can turn a slant into a streak, leave it as a post, turn it into a corner. You can do whatever it is you want, and you're not going to drop the ball. And I think it's just OP, right? How many times have someone just thrown it up to Randy Moss? It's one-on-one, -on -one, and he not only catches the ball, he lights up, he comes down with it, your guys fall to the ground, and you're like, I just got streak specialist. It's wild. It's crazy. To me, there needs to be a balance of a night feel. Like, instead of abilities, just have X factors. Like, if you get three... 15 yard catches now you got streak specialists for two drives or something like that i mean to me that's okay i can live with that you know you got to work for it you got to earn it and then at that point you know i feel like it's it, it's okay do i feel like abilities are going anywhere i'm gonna keep it a bean you guys know unk keeps it a bean the whole bean and nothing but the bean no i feel like they have feel like they they know they got something going here right we're we're forced <laughs> To put these abilities on. If you don't, you're at a disadvantage. I mean, are you forced? No. Can you win without them? Yes. I have a video this year of me playing a top, I think it was top 20, might be even top 10, head-to-head -head player, where I had no abilities on either side of the ball, and I won. Is it possible winning? Of course. Of course. But are you at a disadvantage? Yes, you are. Trying to defend someone when they have evasive and you don't have any secure tackle or anything like that on the field can be tough because I, I just picture this Marcus Allen in the beginning of the year before Patrick Tillman was able to become a 95 and more and more people was able to get him. It was rough. It was rough because he was spinning everyone out. He was juking everyone out. And then Tillman came and we saw enforcer secure tackler really for the first time. And every time they tried to juke him out, he got slapped and we're like, Oh, Okay. Okay, Supreme Tackler, say no more, Tackle Supreme. Enchilada, hold the pickles, I see you. Okay, Enforcer, you mean I can just run to you, hit the beep button, and the computer will never miss a hit stick? That's what you're telling me? Okay, say no more, Marcus Allen, bring that gluteus maximus here, boy. And then, you know, more and more, we were able to find out more and more about abilities and whatnot, but... I'm just curious into knowing your guys' thoughts and opinions in them. Do I feel they have a play? I, I feel it makes the game fun, right? Um, they're just too OP. I, you know, four abilities with X-Factors. I mean, <coughs> certain X-Factors are useless. Like, in today's game, is there really... Like, when you get double me on the receiver, that's game-changing. Whenever you get... Um, for a running back, you get freight train. That's that's devastating. For a quarterback, Bazooka was good at the beginning of the year, right? When we only had 83 throw power. And now we can actually, you know, throw a beater over the top because, you know, adding 15 yards to the throw power was, was big. But now, like, there's no X factor that I'm worried about that 
once the QB gets an X-Factor, I'm like, oh, no, he's got his X-Factor. We got a game plan for it. This might give us some trouble. Like, there's not a single QB X-Factor that I'm worried about. They're all pretty bad. You know, like, they're okay, you know, but they're they're nowhere near as crazy as Moss or Double Mirror Freight Train and all those other ones. Or, like, Unstoppable Force and those wild defensive ones. So, I, I feel like they got to get a nice balance. Um, this year, they came out with the first time ever the archetype system i feel like that has to be redone they did that to make and this was one of the quotes and of course i'm paraphrasing here um but this is one of the quotes that they used to where they said you know what we're noticing that we have great players such as tom brady and all these other guys that are not being used because you know due to lack of speed so the archetype system is going to be able to have these guys more usable more viable and all they did is made the running qb even more dangerous with fast breaking with um escape artists and with dashing dead eye and roaming dead eye and all this crazy things it's 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 wild you know and and i mean how many times do you really face a pocket qb right they still need to work i mean you you see it a little bit more because protected is pretty good if you face someone with you know pass rush elite you're like okay good you don't really have to worry about it too much but if they have edge threat you know edge threat still works against um protected where edge threat doesn't really um activate crazy like that as if it would without it but other than that how many tom brady's have you faced how many Peyton mannings have you faced how many kurt warners have you faced probably not much but throughout the year right we faced aaron Rodgers. we faced Russell Wilson's we faced Michael Vick's we faced um Lamar Jackson's and we faced all these fast QBs because they're they're the tougher one to stop you know so they they got to rework everything do I feel my heart of hearts abilities going anywhere no do I think they're OP and they can be changed yes if, if they find a nice balance a nice medium for said abilities then I feel like we can be cooking with some grease here because there's nothing more frustrating than as soon as you hike the ball, you get insta sacked because they got Lawrence Taylor with unstoppable force already active and you can't even pass the ball. You know how, have you tried passing the ball with with two active edge rushers? I'm sure we have in the beginning of the year when we had freaking much superstar uh, tank, Demarcus Lawrence, and they had like a Von Miller and no one had three good abilities. So they'd have like Homer and they'd be active in two seconds. You couldn't get the ball off, man. There's nothing you can about it and then they introduced the double system i feel like you should be able to double team two people why not right why can't i double team this person double team that person and then id the mic for the running back to pick this person up and uh, the 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 double team system implemented was a nice touch that needs to be reworked i feel like we should be able to double team multiple people you know if i want to double team five guys and i hike the ball then Obviously, I messed up because I can't double team five guys, and then someone should come straight in. That should be my fault. But if I want to double team two people, now that we have this feature in the game, let me double team two people. If he has LT over here and Reggie White over here, I want both of them goons double teamed. Yeah, let me live with what happens afterwards. I should be able to double team both. But let me know your thoughts and opinions. Also, man, leave in the comment section down below. Hashtag TD Challenge. Let me know every score I give up, what the consequence should be, and that should be tomorrow. I'm actually going to go on ahead and hopefully get some easy sleep that way i can go on ahead some easy sleep some early sleep that way i can wake up and uh, get you guys some gameplay tomorrow so let me know down in the comment section we will be picking something um tomorrow maybe we could do this uh you know just to have fun i don't know, maybe every gameplay we'll do something like this just to have some fun with it man because let, let, let's be honest man we've we've all been playing this game uh, almost a full year and you know we got to spruce things up this is your boy jess we're gonna go into the sunny i appreciate the love and support as always until next time please